Oh. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, August 11th. And uh, normally I do my coffee times on a Monday, but unfortunately tomorrow I will be busy uh, all day. In fact, I will be in Reading Police Station all day. Um, stemming from an incident that happened that I'm going to be talking about in this coffee time. I do have a fresh cup. Mm. Ooh, hot. And I want to talk about what happened. I, as you guys know, I, I may or may not know, when I was younger, I did boxing. My youngest, my, the youngest of my older sisters, so I've got three older sisters, one older brother. So, when I say this, the youngest of my older sisters, okay, so you understand where I'm coming from now. She did judo. She was so good at, at judo, she represented England in several contests and including the junior olympics she was good she's damn good my sister still is damn good i've seen that woman who's barely four foot eleven yes my sister is legally a midget i have watched my sister beat up bouncers that were six one six two six three towering over her i've seen her make make them cry so while she was doing judo, I did boxing. I did boxing and I did taekwondo. Because um, i got really long legs. And um, I realised taekwondo really wasn't for me. It was too stancy. Too, I've got to wait for him to try and kick me and I'll kick him back. No, no, no. It, was, it was too slow. It was literally too slow for me. So I stuck with boxing. And... I got so good at it that I honestly thought I was going to go pro. Um, but unfortunately, if you may not know, I have a detached retina in my left eye. Um, I still have vision in my eye, um, but it's what stopped me. It's what stopped me from being a designated marksman. Um, because you need to have 20-20 vision in both eyes. I've got 20 vision in this eye, and this eye is down to like, I think it's less than 10. It's like eight and a half, nine, um, which is bad. At six, you're, no, seven, you're legally declared blind. So, that should tell you something how bad it is and i'm left eye dominant so go figure so, <laughs> um so my left eye which is my dominant eye is actually my weakest so go figure and that's mostly because i kept getting the way i box used to box before i actually got a decent trainer was was very head heavy which means I, was, I kept leaning forward, kept leaning forward, and people took advantage of that. You're open to overheads, you're open to crosses, you're open to uppercuts, you're open to counter punches. Um, and eventually I met a trainer who taught me the same style as Mike Tyson, which is peekaboo. Now, my trainer was not customado. Not customado at all. In fact, my very first trainer was Henry Cooper. Yes, the legendary heavyweight boxer, Henry Cooper. I trained at Henry Cooper's gym on the old Kent Road. And, um... So, long story short, when I first started training, getting there and getting myself up there, I mean... I, I, 
I started learning different boxing styles and one of them was peekaboo. So long story short, I found, I realized that peekaboo was more my style, which is why I'm a huge Tyson fan, a huge Tong, uh, uh, Tonga fan, a huge, just a huge fan of, of, of Customado's, um, style of, of, of training and boxing and whatnot. So let me get to why I'm going to court. I'm going, it's not really technically I'm going to court. I'm going to, to be interviewed by a policeman, by a police officer. Just a standard interview. I won't need a lawyer or anything because they even turned around and said to me, I basically, I witnessed something at my local boxing gym. I go to an Irish boxing gym and we usually keep, we usually keep our business in house, which means if two guys are kicking off and they're from two Irish families, we keep it in the family. We keep it in the gym. We don't go elsewhere you know what i mean we keep it in gym but apparently these two people that were kicking off weren't even irish we don't even know how the hell they got into the gym because one of the requirements for you to be into this boxing gym is you have to be of irish heritage or irish i'm irish heritage my father was literally first generation fresh off the boat from ireland okay truth be told for the first five six years of my life i had an irish accent I had to stop using said Irish accent when I got to say when I got to primary school because the teachers couldn't fucking understand me. So I had to learn this thing that you hear now. So anyway, yes, I can use an Irish accent. No, I will not. Um, but anyway, I went to my local social club slash boxing club and to celebrate my father's passing. Um, it has been over 30 years since my dad passed away. My dad passed away when I was 10. And I'm 43 now. So that should tell you. It's literally been 33 years. You know. And um, while I was there, I witnessed these guys kicking off. And long story short, a weapon got pulled. Someone got stabbed. Someone got took to hospital. CCTV cameras were there doing their thing but they also wanted a witness so i'm going in to be a witness you know give my given a statement basically sort of as to what happened now my phone's going to vibrate at me that's probably the, the it is it's the email con confirming it yep yeah just the email confirming it if i can what's the text message actually from the officer but so i'll be in there doing a sit down video interview recording it yada yada that's what i saw well now the riots have been kicking off and i live in a part of england where the riots aren't in the in my town yet but there's been skirmishes for the last three days there's been gangs roaming around attacking people things that nature. they're not classing it as part of the riots but i'm fine before anyone else asks a lot of people keep asking me am i okay am i okay i'm fine the reason why I haven't been uploading is I've been dealing with my depression. I've also been dealing with some legalities concerning uh, something I really, really, really want to tell you guys. I just can't yet because it's all this red tape and bullshit that's slowing me down. And I know that's something you guys don't want to hear. I know you guys want to hear good news. And I really, really wish I could give you good news. Um... But I can't right now. Um, because like I said, it's the whole phrase of hurry up and wait. You know? We're always in a rush to wait. Make that make sense. You know? We're always in a rush to wait. Which is why I never run for a bus and I never run for a bitch. Sorry. Wait five minutes, another one will come along. Seriously, there's no need to rush. So, that aside. <laughs> that aside. that aside i have been busy uh, doing the whole 14 year world of tank thing you know logging in doing my dailies stuff like that. major boring shit nothing to really warrant a video or even a live stream about i'm also behind on my schooling i've got to catch up on that um 
my brother's health health has not been the best either um if you guys don't know my brother is terminally ill um he's decided to buy a house in bulgaria apparently and um that's where he wants to die he wants to die in this house um he went to bulgaria recently with his family and my daughter for a holiday um this holiday was planned long before he was even diagnosed but he fell in love with the B&B that they moved into that they were staying at he loved it so much that he spoke to the owner and said i want to buy this house i want to buy this property and so the owner agreed on a price my, my brother bought that property and he said that's the property i want to die in that this is where i want to die so that's been weighing on me my um i also start a mental health a new uh, anger management program on the uh, 14th so that'll be fun they may want me to um stay in for evaluation and a few other things and whatnot to help me with my anger management so yay on that so that'll be fun not um yeah i just i've been i've got a whole bunch of magic cards in this thing over here i've got to go through and and, and whatnot for a couple of episodes of cracking packs um you guys seem to be liking those videos thank you i greatly appreciate that i do i really didn't think you guys would be would would be appreciating like ho my hobby stuff and whatnot but you guys do you guys appreciate it a lot and, and that means a lot to me it really does um so i've got that going on um i finally shipped out promised stuff from my old twitch days um so i've got a box heading off to europe i've got a box heading off to texas and i've got a box heading off to um uh, um, to uh texas and another state and you know I, my brain is fried right this minute i'm sorry guys I, I haven't even slept yet and i probably won't until after i've done my shopping because it's a sunday the store that i usually grocery shop at is only open between the hours of like 11 till 4 so i have to get in get my shopping and get out that's if they've even got the things that i want nine times out of ten their shelves are bare bare shelves and it pisses me off it's like we're in communist russia and and Hang on. So long, long story short, it just life shit, and I, I can't even talk about our current leaders or anything that's going on because this video could be used to arrest me. I can't say anything bad about situations that's going on. I can't even talk in private. I can't even talk in private about things because, again, if the police hear it, they can arrest you for it, even though it's said in private. It's not posted on the public forum. Uh, talking about public forums, my um, my ex or, or, or whatever you want to call it, Twitter, uh, is locked. Uh, it got locked for six days, seven days for saying, and I quote, sorry I couldn't celebrate your dad. I couldn't light a candle for you at church because of the riots, which I couldn't because um, you think Reading would be a hub of, of, of churches and there are there's a ton of old churches. But the problem is um, the Catholic Church I was wanting to go to um, so apparently something kicked off in central Reading. I don't know what, but something kicked off, which caused the place to lock down the majority So a friend of mine's just talking to them on Discord. And um so they locked down Reddit. I couldn't go. And they locked my account for it saying it was hate speech. And I'm like, where's the hate speech? 
I, I even had them manually review it and they, and they oh sorry we we blocked you in error in error but i still can't do anything for seven days even though the error was on their end this is what i'm done with i'm done with facebook i'm done with meta i'm done with with twitter i'm done i'm, done. I'm just done i'm just done what i'm gonna do is post my videos uh and um stream where i can when i can you can probably hear people down outside kicking off i don't care anymore i just i don't care anymore so yeah i'm back at playing um escape from tarkov uh not that i want to because i know there's a wipe coming soon but uh, I'm playing the PvE version of Escape from Tarkov. And fuck me running. How has there been so much shit? Like, I will spawn in. And the AI players that they spawn in. Spawn in right next to me. And start shooting me instantly. No joke. I spawned in on woods, yeah, and I took about two steps, and then all I heard was, enemy spotted! The fuck? Literally, a squad of three spawned in right next to me. Nothing I could fucking do. Nothing, nothing I could fucking do. And, and another thing, armor doesn't do anything. Uh, scavs, this is another thing, AI scavs will actually not attack the players the the player scavs like, like the the ai players w will attack single scavs by themselves but not a squad of scavs so if there's like a, a, a three or more scavs they don't shoot in fact those scavs will actually protect those pmcs even the bosses don't attack the pmcs but the pmcs will attack the boss and the boss doesn't even doesn't even want to defend himself he literally just sits there going ah, 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 and then finally dies It's like, what the hell? Sniper scabs won't shoot them. Literally, I've I've, I've watched AI uh, 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 PMCs with, piss with a pistol shoot at a fucking sniper scav. And the sniper scav's just gone, uh, 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 and then die. I'm like, yeah, I can't move two steps within anywhere near the sphere of, of, of his sight without him going oh there he is and beam me and i mean beam boop dead that's all laugh at the pleb <laughs> seriously and yes i i do have escape from tarkov up right now I mean, I'm at the point where I'm just baffled. And I mean, just, just fucking baffled at, at how at how Shikita, and I will call him Shitkita, Shikita the Shit Eater, can think that, that this is even remotely close to being a viable game. This this is just just this is just sad. It's it's just sad. All of the ammo that you can get for, is it 9 by 18 which is what you need? You can, can't, can't even go through Type 1, Type 2 body armor. What? Like, seriously, what, bruv? <laughs> you fucking what? I'm not even kidding you. I mean, it's gotten to the point where I'm just like... Okay, whatevs. So you just, you go to uh, mechanic, 
and you just buy 9 by 19 Green Tracer. Seriously. The Green Tracer, I believe, can go through Type 1 and Type 2. So, meh. <laughs> just whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Uh, like I said, I, you can't even do you can't even do pistol runs anymore. You used to be able to just grab a pistol and do a pistol run. Literally, like right here, grab my my little Beretta. Do I have any Beretta mags? I do. There you go. I got that and a Beretta mag. So I'm just going to do a simple pistol run here in a few. Got nothing else equipped. Just that and that. That's all I'm going to do. All I want to do. No, I'll, I'll I'll deal with that when I can when I got time. But it's it's insane. Hmm. The coffee's good. And um. Yeah, I've just I've lost a lot of motivation. I've lost a lot of mojo. Um. My hair's thinning, and I've noticed that as well. Um, especially on like up here. Um, so I think I might have low testosterone, um, because I've got other signs as well. So I'm going to be talking to my doctor, fingers crossed, who probably won't see me for about six weeks because it's the fucking NHS. Um, and, uh, do absolutely fucking nothing because again, it's the NHS. This video has gone for far too long. Anyway, guys, you guys rock. I love you all. Still alive. Thank you for your concern and worrying about me. But until then, guys, keep your shows flying. Keep your enemies dying. Fabric Commanders out. See you guys in the next video.